Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a system of equations with complex numbers. Now systems of equations are fun and this is more fun because it contains complex numbers. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. So for my first method I'm going to replace z with A plus BI for two reasons because it's a complex number. Second reason is it's the name of this channel, right? Obviously. And W with C plus DI. Obviously, I have to use something else, so I couldn't use A plus BI. Then I would be assuming that they're equal, but they're not, right? So, or they may not be. Let's go ahead and plug this in. We're going to get A plus BI plus W times I, which is I times C plus DI. And this is going to give us 3 plus 2i. And then in the second one, we get a plus bi minus c plus di. And that is 1 plus 2i. Awesome. This is going to give us a system of equations, but that's going to be with real numbers because a, b, c, d are real. Needless to say, right? Hopefully you've seen the lecture videos or you're already familiar with complex numbers and you do know that a, b, c, d have to be real. Now, Let's go ahead and simplify each of these equations. The first one gives us a, here we get di squared, which is minus d, plus b, plus c, that's going to be our imaginary part, is 3 plus 2i. We can go ahead and actually work with this and come up with an equation, or let's do both and then we'll figure out both. This is a minus c, and then we have b minus d i. So it's kind of like a formula for subtracting two complex numbers. You can also think about it that way. We subtract the real parts, we subtract the imaginary parts. Make sense? So we have a system, and notice that if two complex numbers are equal, then the real parts are equal. So this is supposed to be a 3. And imaginary parts, of course, have to be equal. Because if real parts are equal, they cancel out, leaving us with the imaginary parts. Make sense? Okay. So now a minus c is 1 here, and b minus d is 2. Cool, cool. Now this gives us another system. Let's go ahead and write it down. But this time, we're going to get four equations because of four variables. a minus d is equal to 3, b plus c is equal to 2, a minus c is equal to 1, and b minus d is equal to 2. Awesome. How do you solve something like this? Well, you can pretty much do a lot of different things, such as you can go ahead and add the equation number 1 and number 3, and you can subtract 2 and 4. From there, you're going to get C plus D. And from the first and third, you're also going to get C plus D, so on and so forth. That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is write everything in terms of one of the variables, such as D maybe. So you can kind of go off of, um, you know, D like A equals D plus 3. And you can do the same thing for B, like B equals D plus 2, so on and so forth. Let me go ahead and proceed with the other method that I just talked about, right? So let's go ahead and add these up. A times 2 minus c minus d is equal to 4 and then i'm going to subtract these to get c plus d so that's going to be b is going to b is going to cancel out so in other words i'm trying to say okay i'm i'm trying to do this but that's going to give me zero b is going to cancel out c plus d is going to be zero and here i get 2a minus the quantity c plus d which means c plus d is zero so i can plug it in which means a is equal to 2. Once you find A, hopefully you're going to find everything because it's just going to unfold real quick. If A is 2, then D must be negative 1. If A is 2, C must be 1. If C is 1, B is 1. Make sense? Okay, great. So we have A equals 2, B equals 1, C equals 1, and D equals negative 1. Awesome. What does that mean? It means that Z is A plus BI. So Z is 2 plus I, and W is C plus DI, so W is 1 minus I. And that's going to be the solution, the ordered pair. There's only going to be one solution as an ordered pair because this is a linear system. If this was quadratic, it would probably be more fun, right? And maybe in another video, we can do a quadratic system. I don't think I've done a quadratic system before. I think it'll be fun. And again, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. You can write a comment or use the form that's in the description to submit a problem. And I'd like to get ideas because sometimes I have no ideas and 
somebody suggests something and that's just amazing. Anyway, so we got the solution, but this was just the first method. Let's go ahead and dive into the second method. Obviously, the second method is usually better, right? Or shorter, at least. We can't necessarily say it's better because better basically depends on the person. Whichever you like better is better, right? Anyways, so this is my system and guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to eliminate. So to eliminate something, I'm going to subtract. I want to negate the second one, minus, plus, minus, 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 whatever, and just add the opposite. Z cancels out, I get WI minus W equals 2 plus 0. These two cancel out as well, awesome. Now we get 2, which is real, nice. Take out WI minus 1 equals 2, and then W is equal to 2 over I minus 1. What do you think the conjugate for I minus 1 is? Is it I plus 1? No, it's actually negative 1 minus i, but who cares, right? We can still multiply by i plus 1 because the difference of two squares is just awesome. This gives us 2 plus 2i two and then divided by i squared. Here you have to be a little careful, right? And by the way, um, let me make sure I did it correctly. Nope, I didn't do it correctly. It's supposed to be a plus sign, a plus sign, and then of course the conjugate will be a minus sign. So... We're going to multiply by i minus 1 and i minus 1. That's going to give me w equals negative 2 plus 2i. I want to write in standard form now because we're going to simplify next. i squared is negative 1. Remember, this is a uh, sum of two squares, right? So it's going to be negative 1 minus 1. Make sense? So that's going to be actually a negative 2. And when you multiply by negative 2, you're going to get 1 minus i. I mean when you divide by negative 2. Make sense? Okay. So w is 1 minus i. Do I have z? No. Let's use one of these equations, probably the second one. z minus w is equal to 1 plus 2i and z minus 1 minus i. Be careful, use parentheses and then negate and simplify. You're going to get z equals 2 plus i because i 2i minus i so we got our solutions, W is 1 minus I, Z is 2 plus I, and that basically is it. Now, I didn't, I don't think I used Wolfram Alpha to check my solutions, but if you plug it in, I believe Wolfram Alpha can solve such a system. Make sense? And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and... Bye-bye.